dear ladies and gentlemen, esteemed members of our community, we are gathered here as Kenya National Union of Teachers. With me here are executive secretaries of various branches, Brother Sifuna, Mungoma North, Brother Masika, Mungoma West, Ndugu, eh, Ken Ganga, Mungoma South, and is also the National Executive Council Member 1, representing Western Region. My name is Agri Namisi, the Vice Chairman, not Kenya, but here now standing in as the Chairman and talking on behalf of NAT. This is Ikue Ikue Updates. Kama mbaya, mbaya. I stand before you today with a serious issue, yet with a hopeful message regarding the matter of great significance to all of us. It is, sense, it is with a sense of responsibility and respect for our shared values that I address the issue of repossession of poster plot land that you see behind us. Teachers has fa have faced challenges and disagreements regarding poster plots, land, ownership and usage. These disputes have caused division and hardship amongst us as teachers, threatening the fabric of our unity. After careful consideration, and consultation with all involved the parties and stakeholders, that is the teachers. I am here to announce a decision to revoke the repossession of most of plots land because of the following. One, that these plots were legally acquired by Garisha Teacher Sako on behalf of its members. And Brother Nganga, standing here has a court ruling which will refer to you at the opportune time. From 19, from 2000 up to now, we pay the county government of Bungoma rates, plot rates, every time we have never defaulted. After being sued by the municipal council, the court ruled in our favor and even costs were awarded and that is 2014 long time ago we never took the municipal council to court the municipal council took us to court and the verdict was uh, taken therefore this decision is not made lightly but with deep understanding of the complicity and implications involved Moving forward, it is imperative that we commit ourselves to dialogue, understanding and cooperation. We must work together to find sustainable solutions that address the needs and aspirations of all the teachers. This requires empathy, compromise and willingness to listen to each other's perspectives. Let us use this opportunity that has come to build bridges, mend our relationship, and forge a future built on mutual respect and solidarity. Let us embrace diversity as a source of strength, unity, rather than a division and conflict. We are saying this because one, you can see, we have had an understanding with the current government. The first time when Governor Lusaka was elected, we were able to write to him to say we have closed for the teachers, but for the purpose of the ground government wanting to utilize them, we were ready to sell these plots to the ground government because we legally acquired them. In the second term, we approached Governor Wangamati over the same. We did not know that these people were planning to wander and grab our plots that we legally own. In conclusion, I urge each and every one of us to approach this decision with an open heart 
and renewed sense of purpose. Let us move forward with courage and determination, knowing that by working together, we can overcome any challenges that lies ahead of us. This is on behalf of NAT, Ngoma County, and NAT, Kenya. We are saying these clothes belong to the teachers. And we are saying that the legal, the, 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 we have a ruling over the same. And therefore, in the event of anything, the best thing the county government can do, if they want, we have to go to court now to challenge the ruling. What I'm saying, I want to say very, very clearly, that circles are owned by people and members and locals. In Marisha Circle, which is not, which is in the Rift Valley, the highest shareholder is His Excellency the President, Dr. William Samuel, and all the governors within the Rift. We are calling upon our members here, and we are sure that even uh, 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 the Speaker of the National Assembly is a member. I remember at the time when he joined, he's a member of this circle. The members of the National Assembly, the majority, are members of Narisha Sako. The former Deputy Governor, Professor Ngome, is a member of this one. We want all the leaders to support the local bank because we are partnering with them. Even all the ECD teachers earn salaries from there. They get loans from here. They are shareholders. We cannot destroy ourselves. We must build ourselves. And leaders must earn that. Come on, Mbaya, Mbaya. This is a court ruling. The judgment was made in 2014, but it was a civil suit number 143 of 2011, which was Municipal Council of Bungoma, the plaintiff to correspondent versus Bungoma Teachers Savings and Credit Society today, calling Arisha Sako defendant stroke applicant. So after the, the, the judge going through, and the judge was uh, called A. Amolo, the judge, the following was found. That I do find the application as merited for two reasons. First, plot number Bungoma, municipality 811, did not exist at the time of filing the suit by the municipal council at that time. Secondly, the plans for development in respect of the plots, which 811 was initially a part are already approved. Lastly, the plaintiff's to correspondent is receiving rates. The municipal council, up to now, the county government receives rates from Narisha uh, Sako. Therefore, there's no revenue it's losing. The particulars of loss of revenue were also not pleaded. I grant the application with the costs of the application and of the suit. That is a judgment that was made in broad daylight at Ngoma. High Court. So we expect that this document is within the precincts of the county government and within the files of the minister in charge of lands and town planning. So that within his uh, jurisdiction, he should be able to look at these documents and give a proper understanding of what's expected, other than using force to try and jeopardize people's chances. And we want justice done to the teachers. Come on, Mbaya, Mbaya. This is an unwarranted attack on the teachers of Mukoma County. The property that is so far uh, saved by the teachers of Mukoma has not come for free. They have spent their savings, their families for quite I would like to caution the political leadership to spare the teachers by accepting what is theirs. Whatever they have saved through the circles, please we want them to respect them because there is nothing that was acquired for free. And this post of law, there is no building that has been put up on, on, an, on a plot that will warrant a demolition. I know demolitions are going on, but they should put down structures that were uh, established illegal. We have not seen anything here. This is just uh, encroaching on a private property that is that is in a very safe place. So we want to tell the leadership of political, I mean the political leadership of the to spare the teachers. 
what we are concluding as teachers of Ngoma is that uh, the, 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 the political leadership doesn't seem to care about us and we shall also wait for them another day. They should ask what happened in 2015. And we are ready to bring all the teachers of this county here to defend this thing. So whatever has happened must stop. If it doesn't, we shall stop learning, we shall stop teaching in the county and all teachers be brought here so that they defend their own uh, well, uh, mean, fairly found property. Thank you. Kama Mbaya, Mbaya. Uh, mimi naitwa Crispino Sefona, the NAT Executive Secretary Bungoma North. Tuko hapa na wenzangu kwa sababu tunataka kutetea haki ya mwalimu. Plots hizi ambazo naitwa poster plots zilipatikana kwa jasho la mwalimu. Ninyi wote mnajua ya kwamba walimu hawapati pesa nyingi lakini hiyo pesa kidogo huwa wanapata wamewekeza kwa narisha sako na wamenunua hisi plots na vile wenzangu wamesema hatukutaka na tulikuwa na uwezo wa kuuzia hizi plots private investors hata watu kama mamaris Haitias walikuwa tayari kununua plot hizi. Lakini ya kwamba tafadhali tafuta wakora wengine. Walimu ni watu wanafanya kazi yao kwa haki na sisi hatutawachilia. Sisi kama viongozi wa walimu vile wenzangu wamesema mkijaribu tena kuja kwa hizi plots tutaitisha walimu wote Bungoma County. Wafunge shule na wakuja hapa na wahakisha ya kwamba hii county government ya Bungoma ijue ya kwamba hawawezi kunyang'anya haki ya mwalimu. Kuanzia leo ikue hivyo na ikue ikue.